How do you do, folks? My name's Hank Fisher, and I'd like to welcome you to Art Space and the showing of Art Space's largest show to date, Harry Oakman, Flying Artist. Now we have the Flying Artist right with us here, Harry. How you doing today, Harry? Fine, Hank. So, uh, how do you feel about the show? Oh, I think it's wonderful. It's yeah. the first time it ever happened to me, and it uh, brings back a lot of old memories. Yeah, I think it does. I think yeah. it's. Uh, we'll just stroll around and show the folks, and maybe we can get a few stories out of you. Do you think okay. We could? Well, that's fine. Be my guest. Okay. This is the Peterborough wall of uh, the art space exhibit. Along the, the bottom here, we have all the Peterborough postcards, Peterborough end area that you've made. I understand you've made quite a few postcards in your time. Well, we've sold it about 60 million. 60 million. So I know as I was organizing this exhibit, I constantly was running into people that were saying, Harry Oakman, I saw his, I saw his postcard. I was just down in, uh, one fellow was in Atlanta, Georgia, and he yeah. had seen one of, your, one of your shots there. Well, we have pictures in Jamaica. Uh-huh. And we have pictures in the Bahamas. I've made postcards down there too. And of course, Florida. Yes, and of course there's uh, one area that I was, uh, where I was introduced to your pictures was the beer stores. I understand you had quite a, of course I was only taking empties back, you must yeah. understand. Or picking up a case for a friend. Yeah, picking up a case for a friend, that's what it was. Yeah. There's the picture right on the wall. Yeah, right here. Yeah. This is, I guess this is the uh, LCBO, where would that yeah, be? Yeah, that's where the liquor store is now. Oh yes. And uh, when that was changed over, the uh, large pictures that you see on the wall just happened to disappear, and I haven't been able to find out where they were. I would have had some of them up at the exhibit. Yes, dear, dear. I see. This picture here up at the top, that is quite a famous picture for you. That, that picture has been all over the world. I've sent a picture that size to Freeport in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. It's been in the New York Times, and De De Detroit Times, and uh, the Chicago Tribune. How I know that is I've got letters from people wanting to know if that was the same Harry Oakman that we used to go to school together with. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's move along to the other wall here, and uh, I see we have uh, kind of an interesting piece here. Now, I didn't realize that Indians grew that big. Uh, could you explain, was this a, how, how exactly did you get that picture? Well, at Thunder Bay, actually this is a, this is a picture of the actual sleeping giant. And they call it the sleeping giant on account of the shape of the island in the background. To take a picture and make a postcard of it, you had to, we had to put the boat in it to punch it up. So I got an idea that we'd make our own sleeping giant. I photographed another island right next to that, which is called Pie Island. I got Dolph Jacobs, who is the Indian chief of the Curve Lake Reserve, to put on his regalia and come down to my basement and lay over the table, the same shape as the island, and I photographed him. <laughs> and we had it hand colored, and then we made it into postcards. Now down here, this is the postcard that we made. Now down here, it appeared in the, it appeared in the newspaper in Fort William, and uh, I had a lot of comment about that. They call it sacrilege. I had women's organizations writing me and different people writing into the newspaper complaining about what I did with their legendary <laughs> sleeping giant. But we sold as many postcards of that one shot as we did of all the others combined. <laughs> so we laughed all the way to the bank. Yeah, well, that's exactly how it should be. I hear we have a hand-tinted aerial photograph of Niagara Falls. Now, did you tint this yourself, Harry? No, I had a girl working for me that did that kind of work. That was before color uh -huh. was made available to, to the public. Yes, and that was shot in black and white and hand-tinted. Muriel Fife was the girl that did that, and she lives at Indian River. 
Well, there are quite a few of the shots here. There's the lift locks as you come in are hand tinted, and there's other photos here. And it's it's kind of beautiful in a in a separate sort of way. It's quite close to painting, wouldn't you say? Well, very close. Yeah. Very close to painting. It, it takes an artist to do it. So you've done quite a few pictures of Niagara Falls, isn't this true? Well, yeah. Yeah. And now we're going to move over to the disaster wall. We, uh, this first one here is a, a Dewart Mill that burnt down. Uh, some of the older people around Peterborough will remember that. If they, uh, if they read the item that's pasted on the wall, it pretty well explains itself. This other picture is uh, the train on Townsend Street that crashed into a tank truck and caught fire. Was that a gasoline tanker? That was a gasoline tanker. This one here just happened northwest of Peterborough. You can read that too. It was where the school bus got hit with a train. And I think a couple of, there were several children got killed in that accident. And here we come to uh, Hurricane Hazel, which is pretty well self-explanatory. There's the church with six feet of water on the church floor. Is that a Baptist church? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if it is, it was well baptized. Okay, go ahead. Now we come to our favorite fish, <laughs> fish picture. There's a... Uh, I can't see any small ones in this picture. I, I wonder why that would be. Oh, he threw the small ones back in. Now this, this picture here, Hugh Stewart, Les Davis, and Ken Butcher. We went to our favorite lake and spent an afternoon there, and this is what we come up with. We had a shore dinner, and uh, Mr. Davis and I were sitting, were standing on the float of the airplane, and the airplane was just ticking over, and we were trolling, and uh, he said, Harry, I got one, so I shut the engine down, and he pulled the fish in, and it was a real big fish. There was another one trying to take the bait from him. They were fighting over the bait, and I handed him the net, and he scooped the two of them out of the water, and one never even had hooks in them. Now, can you beat that for a fish story? So now we're back at the entrance to the show. You'll see in the background here, that's the story of the Peterborough Airport. Uh, we won't get into that story, but let me say that Harry Oakman is one fellow that fought City Hall and won. <laughs> and here we are, back at the lift locks. Harry has told me that you can't fail by taking a picture of the lift locks. And I'd just like to say to you folks, you can't fail by coming in here to take a look at these beautiful pictures. I'm sure you'll find something that you'll enjoy. You'll likely find many things that you'll enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Harry. Thanks for asking me up here. Thank you very much. Tank Fisher.